All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing a draft film breakdown on the Giants' new speedy wide receiver, Jalen Hyatt out of Tennessee. This breakdown is brought to you by Manscaped. So this guy comes from a very fake offense that doesn't like translate what they do to the NFL, but what Jalen Hyatt does do does translate in speed. Now, he runs a very limited route tree. There's stuff that needs to be cleaned up to his game, but the speed cannot be taught, and I think that's why the Giants went up and got him to go and add speed on the outside and create explosive plays like the ones that you're watching right now. So this is an exciting pick. We're going to go through it. One, how he wins vertically, uh, some of his best route running, some of stuff where he struggles. So let's get into it first. This breakdown was brought to you by Manscaped. The draft is here, and the most exciting prospect is the prospect of being perfectly groomed head-to-toe with our friends at Manscaped. That's right. The Beard Hedger and Lawnmower 4.0 are a franchise-changing combo that will have you looking at your roster with pride. The Lawnmower Skin Safe technology reduces your nicks and snags while making all the right cuts on hair. Bam! Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code GIANTS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com when you use code GIANTS. Go from Mr. Irrelevant to a first-round pick with Manscaped. All right, so let's get into it with Jalen Hyatt. So we're going to start with, obviously, the main thing, which is winning vertically with Jalen Hyatt. So we got him down here in the slot. Open, open. Ball doesn't go his way. Again, you see, see how this corner has inside leverage? So we're going to work inside. And see, so he's working some tempo to this route. Like, he's faster than this route starts. And then, bam, plant off that foot. Bam, accelerate. And you are open, open. And the ball should have came your way because that would have been six points for uh, Jalen Hyatt. Down here in a slot versus Georgia again. Very similar. Very similar, but a bad ball for him. Again, we have inside leverage from this corner. We're going to work on an inside track. And then plant that foot. Go. Separate. And again, should have been a nice chunk play and a better ball could have been touchdown. Bobby, show us the touchdowns. Don't bore us. Get to the chorus. Let's look at that Alabama game. We had five touchdowns. Here we go. Down here with these, obviously, these tight, uh, this tight alignment. or Sorry, wide alignment. I mean, it's... It's not much to break down. It is simply just speed, 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 speed. And you get the inside leverage from this player. And you just give a little bit of influence. Get his hips open as if you're going to run an out route, right? And then break up. And you just let the speed talk. And again, this isn't some advanced shit stuff is it's you know and it's kind of fun about football it's like you could just be fast you know he's got to be more than that at the nfl level and then here just splitting two defenders now this is a more scheme than hyatt but you got to have the speed to pull this off so you work this inside track now you are in the middle of two defenders bam go go and you see how we're aligned with these guys here, and by the time we're catching that ball, we're separated by a good five yards, and you're putting up seven points versus the, the Crimson Tide. Now here you're going to be down here. This next play you're going to be in the stacked alignment, so which creates a free release. And again, he, there's some plays where he struggles with press, but you don't really see them because he doesn't have to deal with press in the offense that he has. But again. We're working an inside track. And we're going. Like this, this, this DB has his hips open and ready to roll. And we are running past him. Look at that separation you create. I mean, that's at the 50. We're even at the 37. And this safety is not able to get to the angle of it. And Jalen Hyatt able to run it in for about as long as a touchdown you can get. This next play here versus LSU in the slot. Again, you've got inside leverage from this player. Like those plays we saw before. Touchdown. And we're look see where we're lining up on the numbers. T 
tempo this route and then stick that foot, fade it out, and just run past the dude. This safety is not able to get over to it. Six points for Jalen Hyatt versus LSU. Here versus Pitt is going to run a, a stop and go. Now, this isn't six because the ball leads him out of bounds, but it should be six. But this is off coverage, right? We're at the 25 yard line. You see him work this stutter. That gets this safety to just bite for a second. Plant your foot, go, and it's it's over. At this point, it is over. But just a badly placed ball by Hendon Hooker. So just obviously, obviously able to consistently win on vertical. You're going to motion it in again, this stack alignment. No throw, but runs right past the defender. Again, work on an inside track. Able to work outside, avoid this defender. Could have been another six points versus Alabama. Now, with that speed, this is kind of the best route that he runs off of that, is the curl route, right? Because he has so much vertical sell. That he's able to get a lot of separation on these and get catches. And it's simple, but it's really effective. Do you see how it's like a you know zigzagging here? You're just influencing this DB. You're influencing this DB's hips so he can't anticipate this break and is worried about getting beat deep. I mean, you see how he turns his hips open? Play it into him. Bam, stop. Bite back to the ball. Hands catch. Nice little, nice little, you know, quick play. Again here, fight back to the ball. Vertical sell. You got this guy in his back pedal. I want to make a guy miss. He doesn't really have, he doesn't really make guys miss a ton, or at least in the five games that I went through he didn't, but part of that's the offense. He's just killing guys deep. Here in this stacked alignment. Gets this DB's hips open. Stop. Open. Here versus Kentucky. Bad ball, but should be a first down. Again, guess this DB. I mean, look. Not only do we have this DB's hips open, we got this DB's hips open in an all-out sprint. And honestly, if he carries this, he probably is able to get six too. But obviously, you know, running those those all stops, and that was on a third down. Could have been a big third down conversion uh, for them. Here versus Pitt. And again, we're influencing this DB. He's got inside leverage. We work this inside track. Look like we're going to plant off and sell vertical. Bam. Come back. Fight to the ball. Catch. Now, this play, we looked at all those Alabama touchdowns, right? We looked at the three. To me, this is my favorite play. And one of it is because of the personnel he's going against. Brian Branch, the safety out of Alabama who got drafted by the Lions, who I really, really like. And obviously, Brian Branch is a safety more so than he's going to be a corner in the NFL. But just able to tempo this route on this post, plant, keep that cushion, touchdown. Like this, to me, that is by far the most impressive touchdown. Maybe it's because I'm spoiled by seeing him win vertically so often, but that's like the touchdown that gets me the most excited. You know, getting that post route because those are the you're not going to just run past people all the time in the NFL. Here, you're going to get a post route versus Georgia. Big catch. Again, I mean, that speed is just constantly. You're able to work these DBs. 
You get these hips open, turned outside, break off of it. Nice 25, 30 yard chunk play. Here versus Pitt, you got inside leverage from the DB. Working outside track. Plant. Ball misses him. Should be another chunk play, maybe even a touchdown. Now, there's also bad, right? And this is a good job by Brian Branch. But on this post, he telegraphs this. Instead of working an outside track trying to pull this uh, DB out, it's just straight line, not sharp. And again, this is a good job by the defense too on this 989 concept was able not able to uncover and on this little square in indie route like there is some routes that just aren't crisp right like this is slow not sharp rounded and again this ball's not coming to him anyways but still like you, you don't want that type of stuff and you're going to see here versus Pitt. Like, I hate this. You got this inside leverage. Work to pull this defender out. And instead, it's just kind of lackadaisical. We're rounding. We're, we're making this easy for the DB. Again versus Pitt. Same thing. We're making this easy for the DB. Like, that's a lazy route, and you can't have that stuff. Like, that's stuff that you you got to take every route and treat it like it's last at the NFL level. Here on this slant, or, not, or sorry, another basic route. Again, try and pull this defender out. And there might be a hole for you to get a, a, a catch here. But instead, it just makes it easy for this line, uh, this corner, for safety. Brian Branch, really good player. Now, here in the quick game, this is where you see some really good stuff, too. When he gets to work that stutter at the stem of the route on this quick game, you're able to freeze. That's Keely Ringo out of Georgia. Break out. It's nice and sharp. It's quick. Nice, quick little catch. Here again from the stack alignment. Slant. Ball doesn't come his way. But -da -da -da. slant, awesome. That's the separation you want on a slant. Obviously, this is not like a progression read, but if he throws here, this is a completion instead of incomplete. Here versus Pitt on the out. Nice, easy completion. Again, this is a zone defender who's carrying out these flats. But this stutter step stops him from being able to turn and run with this, and it freezes him. Because if he sells out, he could break in on this and have a quick completion here or take a slant. But nice, easy completion for Hendon Hooker. So he just does consistently stuff like that in the quick game. That's really, really, really good. So we're able to see him be, be vertical. Now I do want to just show these plays. Um, these aren't a knock on him, but it it does make it tough in this Tennessee offense, and I'll just play it while I'm talking through it, of just it creates busted coverages. Like Jalen Hyatt didn't do anything special on this touchdown. You know, and it's those wide splits. It's just throwing a lot at defenses. And it leads to some empty yards. And it leads to, you know, being fast is one thing. Like, you know, even in co most college football programs, you can't just be fast. Like, you got to do a lot to your game. And I think I think Jalen Hyatt has to add a lot to his game. But, and I'll play them again. You can just kind of watch the the, uh, the coverages bust. So, 
But again, this is a, this guy was mocked to the Giants at pick 25 a lot. You know, and to get him in the third round, I know you traded up, so you kind of got him for a third round pick and a fourth round pick. But, you know, this was a guy we thought the Giants would be considering at 57. Really glad they got John Michael Smith. So like and subscribe to the channel. There will be film breakdowns for all the day three picks, podcasts, everything. You really want to be subscribed to this channel if you are a New York Giants fan. So very excited to get the speed of Jalen Hyatt on the field. So we appreciate you guys. We will see you on the next one. Until then, let's go Big Blue.